All right, so last time we figured out the pet stones, but I've got two more factors I want to figure out before I'm ready to uh, ready to figure out how exactly to assign all of my pets. Yay! That steel pot's gonna need a while yet. Um, do it again. Yeah, you just keep doing that. Keep scrubbing that pot. Let me grab my 500 free pet stones. In a few minutes, we're going to have some lucky draws. Don't know how many. Today, I got zero from my first 12-hour run. I swear it feels like 50% of the time, even if it's less than 30 or whatever. All right, so a couple other things to do here before we start our calculations. I'm hoping to get a doubling of my divinity. I've been holding, but I probably am not going to much longer. So we've got tons of universes. Look at this. Ah. Oh. Yeah. Green. Right. So. The two factors we need to consider are um, junk by which I mean crafting materials. You can see I've divided things a little differently. Got the cat involved now in the scrapyard runs. Um, how many pets it takes to run each of these because it varies depending on which one I'm running. Uh, the crafting materials that I get, I feel like I need all the crafting materials except for feathers. I feel like I'm good on feathers, but there's other factors. And growth and how quickly I can grow my pets and we're gonna cut and divide all this up I'm actually seriously considering temporarily halting my growth campaigns to pour everyone into level up and multiplier to try to hurry up and get that um, get that Pandora's box I'm, I'm considering it right now but let's set that aside for the moment um, and consider consider how to divide my pets best when I finish getting my Pandora. So also, this is almost a third of the way there now. So, you know, we're going to get that, that uh, Shadow Clone pet. We're going to get him and not too long from now. With his mystic growth of one and his battle growth of one. Yeah, he's going to kind of suck, but it's okay. It only matters what his abilities are. And if he doesn't have a particularly interesting ability, and since so it says starts out bad in all campaigns, and he probably will require something horrible to evolve him, I'll probably just end up throwing him in the dungeons. Cast him into the dungeons! Okay, so... Uh, let's begin. The first thing is, uh, I believe there's a lot of variables here on how much material I collect, and there's not really a great way to, to count it out here because it's all percentage-based, and some of them give you herbs, and some of them give you, um, um, wet stones. I'm not going to worry about those. I'm talking about, when I talk about craft items, I'm talking about wood, fire, stones, uh, iron ore, that kind of thing. Ice. So, I believe from just having done a lot of campaigns, that it averages about 130 a day. I think of a base material like iron ore, if I just did two 12-hour runs. But variables. There are rogues. Theoretically, optimally, you'd run hour and a half runs because you're going to get like, I don't know, six or seven of the, uh, let's say, iron ore, but then the boss would have a 26% uh, chance of dropping an iron bar, which is worth eight iron ore by itself. So doing hour and a half runs, you have basically a better than a 1 in 4 chance of doubling your prize. 
because the boss, also the boss gives you more iron ore, like that 133%, it's pretty nice. So, you know, running hour and a half, you get much more results than if you did 12 hour runs. There are rogues, there are unattended weapons, there are deep sea treasures. The scrapyard in particular has metal slimies. Such a ton of factors to confuse the heck out of things. But I think... I think that 130 a day is the base. So, uh, hold on. We need to make... I need to make a quick note here on... Um, because we're going to be factoring... Hold on a sec. Okay, that'll be materials. We're going to be considering growth as well. So I'm making uh, 300 and... Let's see, 300, 450... 500? Am I over 500? That can't be right. I must have mathed wrong. Really? That would be over a thousand growth a day. Now that can't be right. All right, let's try again. All right, let's see. Thirteen plus. So hold on. Three. Let's see. Six. Two. Carry the two. Five hundred and twenty-three. Really? Okay. All right. And of course, uh, as as um, once I get the um, Pandora's box, that number is going to be even better. Uh, not to mention adventures, gaining levels, and so on and so forth. But whatever, we'll just leave that as we'll, we'll give ourselves a, um, that for the moment. <laughs> After yesterday, gave me seven lucky draws from these plus the one daily, giving me a total of eight. But then today, it just gives me zero. Yeah. Lucky draws are unpredictable out of the item campaigns. God, that's a ton of power there. Alright, I'm just gonna snag this. 7x. Nice. You're actually starting to run thin on those, huh? We'll have to keep an eye on that. Alright, so the next factor... Um, I want to do more on materials, but it's really hard. We'll come back to that in a second. Let's finish growth. So there are two campaigns, each of which have a 10% shot. Okay, this takes 10 pets. All right, and it takes some of my best pets to do it, too. Of course, we're going to cost 25,000 soon, and that's going to bring this up to an even higher. Higher, so I'm going to pop this up. It's going to bring this up to an even higher uh, thing at that point. Hmm. So, yeah. Anyway. We can say that we're getting an average of, you know, 52. Well, no. Yes. We're saying, we can say, I mean, only nine pets are actually working. And, 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 and anyway, we're just going to say average of 50. All right. All right. All right. So that's what we get out of a growth campaign. It'll be, it'll be again, it'll be a little bit better with the Pandora's box and you know, various mitigate, various factors will improve that. Whereas these will never improve. They are what they are. So in a day, we get 10 shots of each, and the results are basically the same, I believe. Four to, so 12 to each stat. Oh, wait. No, no. We're doing by the day. Hold on. I'm going to call it 1,050. So that actually makes this a hundred, because we're going by days. Everything is measured in days on this. Okay, so hundred stats per pet per day on average, averaging everything together. So um, the shrines now, 12 
per pet times 10 at most, right? That's 120 per pet that's in one of these campaigns. And that says a lot right there about what I should be doing with campaigns. For a maximum of 12 pets. And though I don't really need feathers anymore, I do feel the need for wood. So this is fairly weighty here. Um, of course, you could do both growth campaigns and dungeons. Oops. Um, but there's another factor because the equation is not yet complete without feeding. Now, each pet can be fed 10 times per day. Is that right? And each feeding is worth six. All right, it's more simple that way. And there are ways that we can potentially improve that further as well, but we're not going to factor that in. We're just going to call it a six, even though that's so 60 per day feeding. Is that correct, really? That's pretty good. That is pretty good, isn't it? Huh. Then, we're not done yet, because there's another factor. Your special ability. 25% boost, but you're fed in chocolate. So, um, 6, 7.5... Seven point five, twenty five percent of that would basically be two, less than two. We'll call it an eighty. This is a little bit overblown, okay? It's it's less than eighty, but it's not that much less. Eh. We don't have to be perfectly precise. We just need to be close enough to make our decision. Ooh. <gasps> No, I screwed up. I wasn't paying close enough attention and ate all my divinity that I was hoping to double and hoping to spend on upgrades. Oh, curses. Well, that sucked. That's going to impair me quite a bit in my ability to crush these pee balls. Uh, all right, back to math. Um, yeah, um, this happened because this, yeah, back to math. All right. So so the value of each new pet, so each new pet that I gain is 75 growth a day, basically. On top of any other bonuses it may have, obviously if it's extra good at growth campaigns, it could impact up here as well, potentially. Um, I don't think there's anybody here who's good at growth campaigns left, aside from Pandora. Oh, well, the turtle, of course. Um, I think that's it. I think I hit those pretty hard. So, there's a couple who are good at food. We 
You know, Ryu might have just enough of a sick sense of humor to make these the most amazing pet evolutions. Give them the most insane abilities. <laughs> he just might do it. Alright, anyway, um, yeah. Alright, so we've got the growth end figured out. Now, the material end is way more difficult. I mean, obviously, the best three campaigns... I, I feel like I really need everything except for feathers. I mentioned that. But the best campaigns are the Water Temple, because this one gives you... Um, two to five, as well as two to ten, and this happening ten percent of the time means it triggers more often. So you're actually getting more out of this, and they can be tier two materials as well as tier one. This is enormous. This sometimes this will be more. You'll get more out of this sometimes from these than you did out of the main adventure. The volcano has lava corridors that give you extra rooms if you have enough uh, fire types, which I don't at the moment. The scrapyard gives you the extra iron bars. The mountain has unattended weapons. Like, it's just a lot of things that can add to it. Um, really, the forest is the only place that sucks at gathering material. <laughs> it's the only one that's useless. The water temple is the best, and I don't really know how to factor in. I already mentioned rogues and doing shorter runs. It's actually really hard for me to judge the materials. But let's say for a moment that we were to uh, focus on materials. What would it get us? Well, potentially... We could craft gear that would get us into depth two, where there's better prizes. Potentially, we could be crafting uh, walking sticks. Uh, even at tier two, that could be a 33% boost, potentially, to uh, every single pet. Obviously, that would take a very, 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 very long time, but it could be done out of craft materials. So that's a, that's a consideration. Evolving pets. Now, some of the pets could be... God, I'm not used to them arranged this way. Some of the pets could be evolved into adventurers. Let's see. Alchemist. Some of them, but they're ways off. Um, actually, aside from the refrigerator, maybe crafting materials, maybe I'm overvaluing them. I mean, yeah, I, I do definitely want the added chocolate. What is it, 20% more chocolate or something like that? Um... I do want more adventurers anywhere I can get them. But in a lot of cases, they take an enormous um, investment to actually get that level, to, to get that evolution. I might be overvaluing them, the uh, crafting materials in general. I think I'm going to ignore craft, not com not ignore, but I think I'm going to make that the least consideration of how I divide my pets. Okay. The final consideration layer. Yes, there's one more on how I divide my pets. And that's over here. Now, I already mentioned how badly I need the refrigerator, and I do need the refrigerator. <sighs> All right. There are several things that pet tokens could be spent on that are not additional pets. Among those, the chief 
ones to con for me are these three here. <sighs> now, a crafting... I'm sorry. I left that up again. The chief consideration are these three here. All right. But I really want this one, too. All right, the crafting boost is interesting because taking the crafting boosts could actually help enormously with uh, my alchemist converting the materials and my blacksmith forging me gear that gets me into the deeper dungeons and, you know, walking sticks and so on. Like, this, it, it, it even helps me craft the craft speed boosting items, like the hammers. So, this also increases better equipment which would save materials and quite a bit of time so this is this is definitely a contender the funny thing is this is cheaper but it actually is a kind of a better deal i think he, he, it's it okay yeah the experience points to just get further into the uh, you know it isn't very exciting like yeah it could let you get to the second floor sooner but it's, it's not very exciting to get more XP but class XP that would include the blacksmiths and the alchemists so it would increase your crafting speed a little bit indirectly but it also increases your adventurers which is more items, including pet stones. The only thing here that would give you more pet stones, even if it's indirectly through adventurers, and growth campaigns. And then there's the loot. And that brings us back to the question of evolving our pets and changes potential equations over here. Um, yeah. These are considerations. I'm honestly leaning towards the XP and the loot more, but the crafting is tempting. But I think that, that pet tokens and getting as many pets as I can really should be the highest priority. So... If I were to try to divide my pets best, I feel like I need to stick to the volcano at least until I get the pumpkin, uh, which shouldn't take too, too long. Then I can probably knock it off. If I set 12 of my pets in the forest and the mountain, I can get away with three pets in the water temple easy. So what that would cost me is three, four, five pets on here. But at the moment, it's better. It gets more results per pet than the growth campaign. So even if I pulled pets out of the growth campaign, it would be a net positive. Getting a focus on items, though... That brings us back to how many pet stones we can get per pet. 240 plus the uh, draws. There comes the question of, are item campaigns better than growth campaigns? In the long term. Well, 100 growth per pet. Per day day as opposed to 75 per day for each of these and it takes I'll be getting uh, one what was it every 20 to 25 days something like that somewhere in that range but that brings us to the need of the scrap yard now the scrap yard can't be done on just three pets maybe it can 
I should experiment around more with it and see. It's possible that I could do some of these with a single pet. Uh, particularly the forest might be possible to run on one pet. If I threw in some health potions uh, for the, the wounded pets, I could practically guarantee, maybe even without them, a single strong pet could probably stomp this. There'd be no reason for them to benefit from the uh, the uh, stat boost here, but I could s trim five pets out for use elsewhere because that's the real shortage, is I just don't have enough to go around right now. Hmm. But at least I have it all written out now. I can think about this and it's it's gonna be it's gonna be a decision I'm gonna have to make um, that I have at least a little bit of time before I need to resolve. Those cursed chests have a lot of pet stones in them. Hmm. Let's measure for a second. Assuming that I keep you, and it's entirely arguable that I could take him off. He's got 8,000. He's not far from the 10k mark on growth. You could all you could actually argue that his value for finding six or so chocolate a day, six to eight chocolate a day, is not does not validate what he could be getting elsewhere. But I think it does. I think it's good. I think it's too good to ignore. So right now I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pets here. Alright. So that's our remainder right now is Eight, assuming a full growth and a food. One, two, three, four, five. That would leave me with only three pets to gather items. And I wouldn't be in the scrapyard. I could take a whole bunch of growth, continue running the water temple, and have only three pets to do item campaigns. Four with Pandora's box. We would not be gaining new pets very quickly. I think that's unacceptable. If I cut one of these out, let's say I cut the mountain or the forest out, one of the two, and I were able to explore the scrapyard somehow on two pets. That seems unlikely. I could bring this up to seven while still having six on the other one of these for growth. If I took See, the other thing is just having more pets means more pets that I can distribute around. If I push pet stones now to unlock more pets, that could help more in the long term than taking the growth I get right now. I'm going to think about this more. I feel like I should prioritize the scrapyard and the item campaigns. Maybe I can thin this out. Maybe what I need to do is, uh, since I'm going to be running the volcano for a while anyway, um, at least until I can get a few more pets, The volcano, unfortunately, comes with percentage-based damage, which is a real problem. But perhaps what I'll set up is three here, one here, whatever I can get away with on the scrapyard. And then, um...
and then um, it's gonna be a question of getting holy water too. I don't, I can't buy it, can I? No, you can't buy holy water, so I'll have to make more of that. I'm just gonna keep you hopping, but um, if if I divide it that way. I might be able to swing. I'll have to experiment. But at least until I get enough to evolve the pumpkin, I might be able to swing a full 10 on item campaigns. Maybe. While still getting both the water temple and the scrapyard. I'll be not using the forest or mountain growth at all while I gather more pets as quickly as can conceivably be done. Now we don't have a lot of pets left, honestly. If I get the box and the AFK clone, um, everything else just about uses a token, except the turtle and the chameleon. The turtle... well, Yertle the turtle over here, I need the refrigerator for. But we're working that water temple. We'll get there eventually. Hmm. Eventually. Hmm. Of course, the other thing I can do, I've not been factoring in the possibility of shutting the dog down and taking him off blacksmith work to do these over here. Yeah, I should have been... F I should take him... Off. I mean, I want to craft things, but I should just remove him for now until I can have more slots. He's good in the scrapyard because he boosts the attack power of everyone with him. Uh, blacksmiths are just really good all around for everything. Um... Do I even need added attack power? I guess so. That stupid boss that collapses the ceiling is the problem. Maybe the cat, the rock, a rogue, and a blacksmith. That would free one. I guess two. You can't really take the ghost out. Two. Hmm. Huh. I think that brings me up to nine items, is it? I think. Oh, well, let's just collect our prizes, feed everyone, and that'll be it for tonight. Hmm. I haven't even gained new ground yet, and look at all this. I'm still upset about having burned my divinity like that. I had so much saved up. See, this was an hour and a half long run. Look at that. 600 pet stones. Nice. An iron bar, a sacred stone. Was this an hour and a half? No, this was... Oh. Hmm. Three bound feathers. Bound feathers is already plural, but you pluralize whatever shows up here. Whoops. And some more pet stones and GP. Cool, cool. What? Okay, that hasn't happened before. The fight took too long? How did it take too long? This hasn't happened before. What's going on? Why are there so many? Why are there 12 flame sprites? This isn't a boss room. What happened?
Cinder Spider summoned Salamander. Oh, really? Well, now that's a tragedy. Think about how much we could have farmed all if we'd been able to kill all of this. Okay. Yeah, that actually hasn't happened before. I've run this like a bunch of times with this party, and they've never lost before, but that looks like that got really out of hand. It's like the game's telling me, no, you can't complete these with just two pets. You need more force than that. But I want to skimp. I want to skimp and make the parties as small as I can get away with. All right. Do I have enough food? I have enough food. Everybody eat. All right. Good. All right. 12 hours for you. 12 hours on you. I am seriously considering reassigning everyone to level up in multiplier to try to get that box. Let's test out how that goes in a second. All right, do we have the forces? We do not have the forces here to do this. Right, you will not be running the scrapyard. Or the volcano. Actually, this is probably fine. Uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to unleash my might and crush you. Uh, hold on a sec. Yes, these are 19x crystals. I've never had them this strong before. So I'm going to buy some meats. I'm going to throw them into the forest. And so on and so forth. Come on. Crush them. Hopefully we'll gather some divinity through the night. Hopefully. Unfortunately, not running the scrapyard through the night means less pet stones, but... You know, that's kind of expected. I'll have to experiment, as I said, more with uh, how much I can skimp on. It's a difficult thing. Maybe it is an argument to make somebody a magician, seeing a crowd like that. All right, here you go. Oh, uh, or... Am I going to have enough of this stuff? Oh well. Here you go. Lots of food. Okay. So. Hmm. I don't have two wind ones. You know what I'm going to do? Hmm. Bah. All right, I'm going to add to you, you and you. You're all going to be in the forest to gain your stat gains. Let's see, eight and a half. That's when I wake up. Will I really have enough mighty food for this whole run? I don't know. Then I'm going to be like, you lot, you know what you're doing. And the book can just hang out in the newbie grounds and bring me a little bit of garbage. Um, yeah. Stat gains, stat gains for all of you. That's right, my awesome rock at 10,000. 20,000. And Marley is also over 10k. Well, well, well. This isn't actually so far, is it? Mm. 
killing all the death two bosses is. Yeah, I'm gonna take him out. And like I said, I'm gonna experiment more with how to take on these dungeons. I might even consider crafting some more gear. Um, I'm gonna remove a blacksmith and craft more gear. But I might seriously play around with my equipment some. It's gonna be low-level equipment, but if it helps, if a bit of armor, weapons, and accessories is what I need to do the trick, then I'll forge some. Still want to get that shaping hammer real good though first, if I could. Probably not. <sighs> I'm still sad about this. Alright. Anyway, let me save my document and close things out. Huh. My multiplier needs to be spent again. I've only got to knock down two more Planet Eater. Oh ho! Really? That's the stats of the next one, is it? That's a lot. I think I am going to reluctantly shut down my items after this one. Maybe I'll go so far as to peel off some of these. And some of, uh, these. Maybe I'll just run a full-on level up and multiplier campaign simultaneously, just run both of them. The pets could give me an enormous amount of power still, if I committed them to it. If I just ate the uh, cost. I'm going to have to start feeding you chocolate again soon. Hmm. I could do it. Huge boosts. And then I've got the upgrades that I can no longer afford. That would be another significant boost I haven't really done yet. I did this for, I think, 24 hours straight of power surging. I did uh, the crystals up to heights I've never had them at before. They're all at 19 except for the 12 ultimate crystal craziness. Hmm. We're still making universes, so I'll still get to add in a few more of these. Hmm. This is at a new height. I've basically taken everything further than I've ever taken it before. And it's not enough. become a hundred times stronger to beat you and then more so to beat the one after you. Yeah. Hmm. I think having more pets just needs to be my focus over all the other things I could purchase over uh, even the pet growth. I think in the long run I'll get more growth and more stuff out of just having more pets. I'll be able to more easily fill in the forests and the mountains so that I'll get the 75 growth from each pet feeding on top of the added growth of them being able to be in the forest and mountains when I get to that point which is another 120 a day. <sighs> yeah, I think that's how it's gotta go. I'm gonna continue to have um, hot stones prioritized until I get the pumpkin. I really want that pumpkin because I don't want the gold dragon to run out of chocolate. And with this bear, 
who eats eats my chocolates. I mean, he's a 50% boost to what he does, and that's that's a big deal in the growth campaigns. That's like half a pet. Sort of. It's like having another half pet in the growth campaigns. Kind of. So, ugh. But I think that the gold dragon is giving me more growth out of each chocolate than this bear will. So, uh, anyway. I want more chocolate, so that means I need to evolve this fella over here. So I'm going to keep him prioritized for now. I'm going to focus on holy water somewhat. Somewhat. Fire stones to... Ice to ice. Hmm. Yeah. Anyway, we'll see if I don't change my mind between now and when I get to those. Because clearly it's going to be a few days before I finish this. I don't want to start another AAC to finish the job. I want to do it this run if I can, but that's quite an if. How long will this take me? Four days and I'm only up one. Not promising. Right. <sighs> 